Hello, my beautiful Aries dragons. Thank you so much. You guys came in fifth. So you guys just snuck in to be able to get a bonus reading. Um, seeing how many I can get through. I don't think I'm going to be able to get too many more in before I have to start doing the monthlies. So um, before I have to get going with November very shortly. So Aries, let's see what your energy is like for the end of October. Again, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Um, the likes and the views and the subscriptions, you guys are fantastic. I do appreciate the support that you guys give me. So let's go on. Please share. Please share. Okay, so I'm just going to do one more split. And let's get some energy for you guys. One, I'll take one from above and one for below if nothing comes out. And three. So one from above, one from below. <clears throat> you guys have gentleness and compassion. So you guys are having to move into a, a softer space <clears throat> for the end of the month. Sorry, guys. I'm just getting over um, <clears throat> something that something in my throat. So, um, be kind to yourself and others. Honor your gentleness. Speak words of love. And then compassion is be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. And see the light in yourself and others. I think you're really having to um, just draw inward. And I really get the sense that you've been fighting um, a battle. Um, and I don't, I, you've been going through a tough situation and I think that you just sort of need to retreat a little bit and find some, some gentleness and compassion. Um, this might have sort of skewed your view to a generalized area of people. And I think that what you, this is calling on you to do is to actually try to step back and not make this situation sort of wreck every other situation in the future that comes. Okay. So let's get some cards. Yeah, the priestess. Yeah. The priestess goes hand in hand with these cards here. I'm not going to accept those ones. There's too many. Okay. So let's see. Let's get some energy. Two. After this one, I'm going to take the three. Oh, there we go. I like how those ones fell out. So, <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So, you guys have just completed a cycle, or you're working on completing a cycle. So, somewhere over this energy, you have done the work and you've broken a pattern. You've gotten on with something. You've ended something, right? You've made a huge transformation. Um, you've completed it. Okay. Um, it could mean that you're traveling or whatever, but you have made a huge, you, you've become a huge cycle breaker and you, it took you the courage to get to the victory. Okay. Like it did not come easily. Um, it was very delayed. Okay. And it took lots of strength to get towards it, especially with this page of cups in reverse. So there was a lot of, it took a long time for you to get here, but you did get there. Okay, so yeah, this needs to go here because this is all past, <clears throat> this is all past energy. So, but you have done this and it's because you have gotten into this priestess mode. You have, um, you found the gentleness and the compassion and I think that you still need to move in on with that energy. You really, really need to, and it's funny because I'm getting drawn. I have my crystals all around here. And this is just a clear quartz. And it's like, I just, you know what? I, I just feel like putting it right on those. It's like, you just need to ground yourself and you just need to hang on and just, um, find the gentleness and compassion for yourself and then apply it to everything else. Even, and this is what I'm hearing, even to the people that don't deserve it. Now, it doesn't mean that you outwardly need to go and be a doormat and let them walk all over you again. It means that in your mind mentally, 
if you hang on to resentment and anger and everything for that person, it's not hurting them. It's hurting you. So you need to work to release that and just say, you know what, sometimes, you know, we've all had people wrong us. I'm sure I'm not positive in people, some people's books too, right? And there's sometimes that you just need to say, you know what, <clears throat> I have to release this energy because it's not doing me any good. And just say, you know what, I wish you what you deserve. And that's it. And it's not to be mean. It's not to be kind. It's just to wish them well. It's like, I just wish you your own life, right? And and I'm not going to have a say in it, and I'm just going to release it from my energy because I don't want to hang on to it. And it's, it's a lot to do, and it's not toxic. It means that you're refusing to carry that for you anymore. That's one of the best things that you can do is just to get people out of your energy that... Um, that took so much from you. Okay, guys. So after the world, can we get some maybe current or outcome? So <clears throat> let's see where we're going with this. Yeah, you have your five of swords <clears throat> in the reverse. So you're, I think that you're still going through and so here's the thing, guys, about healing. It's not easy and it's not fast. And things are going to come up that trigger you and you're going to sort of have to go back. So even though, here's the thing, <clears throat> even though you've completed the cycle, okay, you're going to need to, as things come up, uh, hurt's still going to come up, okay? Um, betrayal, anger, things are still going to come up, okay? But you've completed this. So I think when you move in with gentle and gentleness and compassion, remember how I said they have to have this for yourself? You have to put these things that come up as they come up back into here and put them back here and, and do little tiny breaks. Because just because you might physically be done with it, even um, consciously be done with it, your subconscious still has to work through. And that's a little bit of a harder one to get through, okay? And that's where all the deep, deep healing comes in, Aries. Okay, but you're getting there. Look, you have the world. Hey, it's okay. Right? You just have to keep telling yourself, whatever you're going through, it's okay. Just don't let it keep you stuck. Right, guys? Just don't let it keep you stuck. you got to keep moving ahead. Okay? No more would-haves, could-haves, should-haves. Yeah, look. And you're going to be bringing in somebody who is going to um, sort of come rushing in. And um, you're, you're going to be getting offers and opportunities. Now, this is true love, okay? So if you're interested in that, by you continually working and releasing this, you're opening yourself up for the positive experience. You're, you're allowing yourself to heal so you can attract this. If you didn't do this, which you know, who knows, maybe you guys didn't and this isn't your reading, but as soon as you close out this world, right, this, this knight of cups, right, the knight in shining armor, now it can be female, okay guys, so like, it's just energy, this, um, you, you could be even just calling in a friend who is honest and intelligent and helpful, it could be true love, it could be a soulmate, it could be anything, but this is about a, um, a love and emotional connection, right? This is an intuitive connection. This is happiness and friendship and kindness, right? And compassion, right? So this goes right hand in hand. So once you start to open yourself up to this, like I've been saying this whole reading almost, you're going to be calling somebody in who also gives you this, right? It's the law of attraction, right? So now keep in mind, okay, guys, that whole law of attraction thing, if it's taken the wrong way, people who are kind also do attract people that are toxic because they're perfect for people who are toxic to take advantage of. 
So just make sure you know your red flags. Okay, Aries. So I'm not saying, yeah. So this person is going to help you get through whatever heartbreak. So this person coming in is going to help you get through the rest of this. Here's the funny thing, right? About, yeah, yeah look, they're going to bring balance. So <clears throat> here's the funny thing, right? Is you've done so much work and things are still coming back and that's okay. You truly know when you're healed, when you are put in the same situation again and you can behave differently and or you can work through triggers, right? Or you have the opportunity to help grow through it, okay? You're gonna be having that opportunity, but you first have to show yourself gentleness and compassion, okay? You have to release these heavy expectations of yourself and realize that healing takes a while to happen. And every time you do it, though, you you get deeper, deeper, deeper. And then all of a sudden, one day, you just wake up and it's like, oh, I'm not thinking about that as much anymore. Or, oh, hey, look at that. I went the whole day without thinking about it. It's like, well, why am I now? And it's like, no, we're good. We're good. It's releasing all those things that injured us, right? So, Aries, this is a really beautiful reading, okay? Yeah. <laughs> It's really beautiful. Yeah, you're having an awakening and you're finishing. Yeah, guys, this is, it's, it's all, it's, it's good. You're not going back. You're not going back. So you're good, okay? D just keep moving ahead with what you're doing. Be gentle, be compassionate with yourself and, and allow yourself to be kind with yourself. Okay, Aries, thank you once again for all of your support and I will see you next time.